Hello everyone. <laughs> Today I'm making flaky roti. Okay, without further ado, here is three cups of just ordinary flour, cake flour, um, about a three quarter cup, a teaspoon of salt, and this is 300 ml of tepid water. You can use cold water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tablespoon of oil to the water. This is optional. It just makes for a softer dough. And now, let me get a spoon. Oopie, sorry guys. Stir. And then we just work the, the water in to the dough. So now I'm going to see if the water is enough. Too much or too little that's why i do a slow pour also remember you can double the ingredients for more rotis i'm making a small batch today okay so it's always best to start off with a sticky dough then a dry tough dough you can always still work in more flour so and always when you make any dough, always make sure you have extra flour on the side for whatever reason that may come up. Okay. Okay, I like the look of this. So remember guys, 300 ml of tepid water, um, tablespoon of oil, about a three quarter teaspoon of salt and three cups of flour. Okay, and a bit of extra flour now for when we work it in. Okay, just one side. And I'll keep this here. And it's still a bit sticky, so I'll work in a bit more flour. Just about a couple of tablespoons at a time until it comes to the way you want it okay so now it's still quite soft and now working another about half a cup of flour okay there we go I can feel with my hands that's why it's important to do this feeling the dough making sure you know okay that's sticky I can see the little wet spots so now I know okay I'm gonna add a bit more flour okay so I'm working in that extra half a cup of flour until I get the consistency I want excess dough from your fingers and there we go and with my hand I can feel it's a little bit sticky okay it's too sticky for me now you can see I have half a cup left from the extra fourth cup I'll add a bit more. That was all in all. Three quarter cup of extra flour I worked in. I always prefer doing it this way. Then I can control the dough. But if you put in just the exact amounts, yeah, that's a different story. So feel your dough, get to know your dough, okay? Oh, this is starting to feel really, really nice. You want to clean that bowl. Okay. Nothing is sticking. I like that. So let's recap again. We started off with three cups of flour, uh, about three quarter teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of oil, and 300 ml of tepid water. And then we worked in three quarters of a cup of flour. And now, here's your dough. 
and now I'm just going to dab some oil over it doesn't dry and stick and I'm just going to rest it a bit okay just so for five minutes just want to relax the dough and clean my hands and we'll be right back okay so I've now stretched out the dough I'm just shape it like this now remember the size of your roti should be the size of your pan so don't make it too big this is one kind of pan I use and I also use uh, this pan so I'll probably use both if need be okay now at this stage you can flour your surface or you can oil it it's entirely up to you okay and now we're gonna make just little ball size see there palm of your hand and we continue like that the dough is not stock stiff not stiff and it's not too sticky so it's in between okay so we have two four six eight ten rotis so now we can just it's up to you to shape it into a nice round see and now we just place it nicely and we continue with the rest you can roll it out as is but i'm gonna make some nice round shapes and then I'm going to let the balls itself just sit a bit for the dough to relax so I can roll it out better. Okay. There. Okay. And we'll be right back. <laughs> okay guys, so I've already done most. And I'm just going to show you how. You just lightly oil your surface. The ball you take and you can spread it out. It just makes it easy for me. And then just roll it out. Okay. And here I really don't it doesn't matter what shape it is, just roll it out nice and thinly. And then you take butter. My butter is a bit hard. So what I do is I just work it through my hand. So my hand is warm. And then you spread your butter. It's about a tablespoon worth of butter on each of the And then I just put a drizzle of oil with my fingertips and now we fold over. And I want you to relax. <laughs> just enjoy the process, okay? There we have all we'll folded and now we're gonna roll it both on the opposite side like a coiled snake and that is like the A shape or the F shape okay and then you fold it over it's very difficult for me to do this slowly so forgive me there you go <laughs> and now I'm gonna do another one just to show you again I place it out. It's easy to roll. And then I just go. Butter. If it's bigger rotis, you're gonna add maybe a little bit more butter. Okay? Don't be stingy on the butter. If you don't mind dry rotis then you can add less butter. But if you want a real good flake, add enough butter. Okay? And with these rotis, you do not oil your pan. A non-stick pan. Look here, this is the other version I wanted to do now. <laughs> Just do the ones you can do. Watch slowly. See there? And over. 
easy already. Okay, now I'm just going to finish it off. And then after it's done, I'm going to cling wrap it and put it in the fridge for about half an hour to an hour. And then we're going to fry it. Okay, guys, I've started frying. So it's a nice, hot, non-stick pan. And that one is going nicely. And while the rooti is in the pan, you roll out another rooti. And please don't worry about if it's round or square or anything. Okay? Just roll it out. And there's bits of butter coming out. That's also fine. With that. And the smoke, normally it's a sign that you use uh, pure butter. Okay. And of course you can use margarine. 70% fat margarine. Okay. And then you won't get the smoke. But it's always best to have a buttery roti. See? And you can see just about not even a minute on each side. Take that out. And then immediately when you take it out, you have to clap it. Your ones, I'll show you quickly. This is how you take this part and you just do that. And there you have your flicky routine. <laughs> 